We're in crisis point now. We are. Too much young people are dying. Too many girls have been exploited. And too many children with vulnerability are being groomed. So we work with people who have been involved in or who are victims of or witnesses of um, serious youth violence and gang related um, incidents. I would say my lived experience, uh, my son, you might be familiar with his name, was Azam Kali, and he was murdered in Stopsley in 2018. Um, I've never done any such work like this before um, during my journey from the two years that, that, that have gone by. I've done lots of work with um, young people. It's not police run, and I think that's the most important thing to say, especially for, in particular for young people. This is not police led, police run, they, it, this is actually that multi Can I just step in, sorry, can I just step in there? Is it not police run because of how the police is looked at at the moment, just playing devil's advocate, or is it... We don't have the skills. Okay. I think, if I'm honest with no, you, no, that's fair enough. That's what I wanted to do. Don't, don't don't have, we don't have, you know, we, we don't have uh, those, those skills around what the other components of the ferry have. Okay. And also, just to add to that, and as we're being so hard hitting, one of the things, and I think the challenges that we have working with our partners, and as you mentioned, the police on there, one of the challenges is, is talking truth to power. So, and Liz has already said we don't have the skills. That's exactly what I was saying in terms of that gap. You know, this recognition that adults and professionals should be saying, it's not our area. We're not the subject matter experts in this. So I think that's what one of the things that the Berry does. Um, the other thing that I'd like to see in terms of partnership work from the violent reduction units and their partnership with the police is looking at this dialogue around a child being criminally exploited. And what I mean about that is I go back to this difference between a victim and a perpetrator. And I've um, come to find out that actually there's something that went wrong quite early on. You know, there was either grooming, exploitation, peer pressure, lots of different things were going on. So it's made me um, be able to take a step back and actually look at a perpetrator as being a victim. So the Violent Exploitation Reduction Unit, very has been established to, ne um, to work with communities, young people, colleges, schools, in tackling serious youth violence. We have funded so far over 40 community projects across Bedfordshire. What um, the very in Bedfordshire is trying to do is have people who have lived this lifestyle. The country where young people are vulnerable are being purposely targeted by gang members. Purposely. They are particularly looking for young people who have got learning difficulties. They've got young people who may not, their first language may not be English. Um, young people who are not wanted at home. They look for you. And you've got to be aware of that. All of us in this room and outside of this room have a responsibility. We're all responsible. When we turn a blind eye to something that's happening, we are part of the problem. I know that it can be difficult to say the stuff that is going on, but really, we can't, we, you know, as, as a community, we can't solve this just with the police. We can't solve it with individuals. It can only be solved if we work as a team together.